Welcome to Daily Prayer for Wednesday 29th April. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Send forth your light and your truth. Let them be our guides today and always. Amen. A reading from the Book of Acts. While Peter and John were speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came to them, much annoyed because they were teaching people and proclaiming that in Jesus there is the resurrection of the dead. So they arrested them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word believed, and they numbered about 5,000. The next day, their rulers, elders and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, If we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the cornerstone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and realised that they were uneducated and ordinary men, they were amazed and recognised them as companions of Jesus. When they saw the man who had been cured standing beside them, they had nothing to say in opposition. So they ordered them to leave the council while they discussed the matter with one another. They said, what will we do with them? For it is obvious to all who live in Jerusalem that a notable sign has been done through them. We cannot deny it. But to keep it from spreading further among the people, let us warn them to speak no more to anyone in this name. So they called them and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, Whether it is right in God's sight to listen to you rather than to God, you must judge, for we cannot keep from speaking about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them again, they let them go, finding no way to punish them because of the people, for all of them praised God for what had happened. For the man on whom this sign of healing had been performed was more than forty years old. The people may have been impressed by Peter and John, but the authorities very clearly were not. These were the very people who had pleaded with Pilate to execute Jesus. You can sense their frustration that his death had not put an end to this business. In fact, enthusiasm for Jesus seemed to be growing. Peter has all the clever arguments. You can't condemn us for doing good, he says. That silenced the rulers and elders for a bit. 
So they resort to ordering Peter and John not to speak about Jesus. Peter appeals to a higher authority, to God. Again, the rulers are left powerless in the face of Peter's response. Whatever the truth is, be it religious truth or scientific truth or truth in relationships or political truth, it cannot be suppressed. There will always be people who try to do so because it suits them to have people believe lies. The truth is powerful, to be prized, and those who tell it, like Peter and John, though they may suffer, will always be vindicated. Let us pray. O oh God, in a world of so much information, it's hard to take it in, and even harder to discern truth from falsehood. Help us to take the time we need to think things through, to question deeply, and to give us grace that we may come to understand your truth for us. Loving God, we pray for patience, as day after day seems much like any other, and we lose the anchoring of routine, and as our horizons shrink, we pray for the grace to discern little things and subtle changes. For the world is carrying on, though it seems sometimes we are not. Help us to take comfort from the natural world, to see ourselves more as part of it, vulnerable like all creatures to things beyond our control. Offering our vulnerabilities, our concerns, our troubles to you, we bring all our prayers before you, O God, as we say the words Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for ever. Amen. And the blessing of God, Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit, be upon us all. Amen.